Hey developers, today we are going to look at Quasar Framework and look at the differences between that and Vuetify and what you should pick if you are looking for a front-end Vue.js UI component library. Also, before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Hey guys, when you're building your own website, whether it's for yourself, your business, or a brand, one of the hardest things to do is to find that awesome domain name that is short, relevant, and shows the world what you're all about. Which is exactly why I went and got viewcourse.tech, which goes so seamlessly with my brand. I'm currently using it as a really great website platform for my new view course, and it's absolutely perfect. Join the likes of Viacom, Intel, and CES, and get your very own .tech at a whopping 90% off on one, five, and 10 year domains using the link go.tech slash Eric. It'll be in the description below. Only this Black Friday. The sale starts on the 26th of November, so you can pre-register now and get a further 10% off on the same day sale. So make sure you go to go.tech slash Eric in the link in the description below, pre-register, and you can get an additional 10% off. Thanks. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer, and this channel is all about Vue.js, it's all about web development frameworks, giving you guys advice, many of those things. So if you watched yesterday's video, I did just a quick overview of Vuetify versus Quasar. And we're gonna do the same thing in this video. I'm just gonna go off the cuff here and just talk about um, the differences between Quasar framework and Vuetify. And we're gonna look at the different components for each. And if you guys like this type of video, let me know in the comments below and I can do a deeper dive. Maybe we can create an app in each and then just see what it looks like and how it was creating both. But I thought we'd just do a quick overview for this video right now. So first I want to start off with and look at the GitHubs for each. So I'm going to look at GitHubs for Quasar and GitHub for Vuetify. So Vuetify has over 22,700 stars, it's been forked 3,200 times. It's a pretty active community. Looks like a bunch of updates just nine days ago for some of that. Some of it, tons of uh, issues, but tons of pull requests. You know, there's a lot happening in the Vuetify world. It's one of the premier Vue.js material design component frameworks. Uh, Quasar, on the other hand, has 12,800, so that's still quite a bit. A lot of stuff happening in this. Looks like just six hour ago, six hours ago, they did a version bump. So they've been um, busy with new versions. In fact, I think their new version 1.45 came out recently. A really active community too. Tons of commits, branches, uh, tons of pull requests. You know, a lot of activity happening in the Quasar framework. So if you're brand new to Quasar and Vuetify, let me explain a little bit about the differences. So if you look in the Quasar side, they call it a high-performance Vue.js user interface in record time. So let's click the Y Quasar first and see what it says. So it's Vue.js based. It has this. It has the material guidelines. So it's not. I don't think. I guess you could call it a material design framework, or maybe it just follows the material guidelines for your website and apps. And one thing I think that really separates Quasar from Vuetify and Vuezax and a few of the other UI component libraries is that it really focuses on this SSR and mobile browser support. And what I mean by that, kind of the bread and butter of, of Quasar is that it has these really cool ways of, of deploying your app. You can deploy your app as a single page, just like a normal Vue.js app, a single page app, but you can also deploy it as a server-side rendered app, like you're running it in Nuxt. You can also, serve it as a progressive web app real quickly. And then, it, which is really crazy, it uses, uh, you can actually develop mobile apps. So you can develop your app like you're developing it for you know, the web, but you can use uh, tools like developing for Cordova, Cordova. You can use the Cordova Compassitor. So you can end up creating your app and then deploying it on mobile devices, on native notable, notable mobile devices like iOS and Android using Cordova. Uh, you can even develop capacitor apps, which I have never used capacitor. It's a framework to deploy web allocations to mobile. So it's sort of like uh, Cordova. So it's just another way to to deploy your app. And it even has like native Electron apps. So you can use Electron and have it run natively on your OS. So I think that's what really separates Quasar from some of the other 
uh, UI component frameworks. And it has its own CLI, if you can believe it. So you can create your app really quickly with the CLI. It has its own directory structure. And uh, it, when you create Quasar apps, you can use Quasar Dev, just like you're using Vue CLI. And you can easily use these, these uh, arguments to create a mobile app or create an SSR or create it as a PWA. So, and, and you don't even have to do that. If you wanted to use Quasar as a standalone, um, which I think it's in maybe the getting started. Yeah, you can pick which flavor of Quasar. So you don't have to use it with the Quasar CLI. You can use it as more like a plugin that you just install. And then you get some of the features like you still build for uh, spas and PWAs and you could sort of build for SSRs, but there's some caveats to it, but you can't build for like Electron. You can even build for Electron apps, but you can't uh, use Quasar app extensions. So you can kind of build it different ways. You can use the Quasar CLI or you can use it as a plugin to an existing project and you can use, and use, use it as UMD as well. So that's kind of cool. It has a lot of different things. On the other hand, Vuetify is a material design framework. So, I mean, why Vuetify? You get the material, it tightly supports the material design specifications, which really um, gives you this kind of consistent UI. It's very, has accessibility built in, accessibility built in from the beginning. So you kind of get that built into it. And uh, it's kind of a philosophy. It's kind of a whole design framework. By the way, both Quasar, uh, so once again, Vitify has a lot more sponsors, which is good because they are able to maintain themselves and make money, and I'm, I'm all good for that. They both have really vibrant communities. Vitify is built from the ground up, semantic, easy to learn, easy to remember, has continuous updates, and this is really nice, has professional support. Now, I don't know support in Quasar. It looks like you have Discord channel forum. I don't see, at least right now in Quasar, I don't see like professional support. That might be something that I'm certainly you can do with some companies. I'm sure almost all the Vue companies out there that do support for Vue probably could get to help you with Quasar, but it looks like they don't have like official support through it. So let's take a look at some of the differences between the two. Now we already mentioned Vuetify is a material design framework. So you have a lot of customization with uh, like accessibility, you can definitely change your SAS variables, your look and feels. It has its own theme generator, which many of the other material design frameworks do and other, and other frameworks too. You can do the, they have their own grid system where you can use the flex and has tons of CSS in there and different typography, uh, custom CSS that you can use in, type, in custom typography. On the other hand, uh, with this one, we have the CLI, the style identity, you do get some of those things like the typography you can change. It has a bunch of built-in CSS classes as well. When I, I did a video on Quasar and I was kind of going through it, it has a grid system too, which if I remember correctly, looks, yeah, lay it on grid, looks pretty much like the 12 column grid system that you see in Bootstrap and a lot of the other, uh, other UI frameworks out there. Um, has definitely uh, tons of layouts, layout options, layout gallery. So let's take a look at some of the uh, some similarities. View components. So this is here is the Quasar view components. So let's take a look at buttons. It's always fun to see what the different frameworks have. And by the way, I have set up Quasar uh, using Quasar CLI, and it was really simple to set up and inst and get running. I it looks like, far as I can tell, it's pretty simple just to add it as a Quasar CLI project. If you do look at the getting started guide and use it as a plugin, it's as simple as doing an, um, a view add Quasar, just like view add Vuetify is how you do it on the Vuetify side. So I don't think there's any big issue with, with getting it up and running. The one thing I did notice differences is that at least when you use the Quasar CLI, you had to go into the config file and do some configurations in this Quasar config file to tell it if you wanted to import every single component in Quasar or only certain components. On Vitify, I don't think you need to do that. It, does, it doesn't uh, require you to do that. Although I think you can, might be able to do specific imports. I'm not entirely sure. But okay, let's go to buttons. So if you go into this view components, we can go to buttons. 
And here, so once again, here's if you want to update the Quasar CLI, this is how you would do it. In View CLI, you would still have to do this View Use, and you can choose if you want to do uh, which components you want to add in. Or I think there's an option just to add them all in, too. So here's what the buttons look like on the, maybe click the right one, on the Vutify side. They have this whole, like I showed you guys yesterday with Vutify versus View, Views Axe, there's a generator. You can kind of take a look at it. But they have flat buttons, raised buttons, depressed buttons. The buttons on uh, Quasar, I, I think they look a little better. I think you can, the raised buttons, okay, I mean, they look pretty similar. I don't know. You tell me if you guys think which one's better or not. I mean, they all look pretty same similar to me. I mean, they all support icons. They all support this like raised look, or you can get the flat look. You can get. They both do rounded buttons, too. Uh, I don't know. It looks pretty similar. And if you look at the code, you use this template and use this Q button, and Vutify, uh, use this V dash button. So I don't know. Looks looks very similar to me. And all of them, you just put in the different props that you want. Like you could put round here in this one. You put dark and rounded. So instead of round, a quasar it's round and, and Vutify it's rounded. So it's all it all really feels very similar. So I don't even see any differences here. Uh, the number, there's quite a few and there's view directives. So they both share very similar um, components and directives. So like I think like here's all the stuff in Quasar, like this new skeleton loading, they don't have that in Quasar, but it is in Vutify. Like this new, they have lazy loading, they have skeleton loaders, which kind of gives that, that little flick and feel when things are loading. You just have this black box that sort of, they had this little nice little animation on it and then it just pops in. That's really cool. but. For example, Quasar doesn't have that. Quasar does have does have tons of different components. All the ones you expect, like dialogs, buttons, modals, uh, chips. Like they both have their own chip implementation, and they both have tons of different props. I think, like, like here's the chips over here. You see all of them. These little chips. They're just kind of like little badges you can put on, and they, look, they have tons of props you can do for both of them. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna get really similar look and feels between both of these. The directives look, uh, so the directives over here, you get intersection observer, mutual observer ripples. I think you're gonna get the exact same ones in here. So this has a few different ones, close pop-ups, intersections, material mutation, scroll fire. What is scroll fire? Interesting. All right, they have scrolling ones here too. So, I mean, if you want to just base, if you're looking just for components and directives and you're looking at Quasar and Vutify, they're just so similar. I would say there is, they're just almost exactly the same. I don't think you're going to have any better developer experience on one or versus the other. You may see little bit differences in the look and feel, but they're, they're really similar and they both have this material design idea. I think if you were coming down to it and you're trying to pick one between the other, I would say, what are you looking for would, would be my idea. So obviously, if you're looking at these two, you want a lot of different functionality. You want these both are highly maintained. They're they're very active communities in both of them. So that would be the plus. But the differences would be like Quasar. Are you looking to do some maybe in the future, add like have it be a server side rendered app? And you're maybe you're not using Nuxt, and you want that ability later on to deploy a server side rendered app, or you're looking to deploy on mobile or you like really like having this Quasar CLI and, and some of the things it can do, then I would say go with Quasar because that's no brainer. I mean, it has all the stuff built into it and, and as far as I can tell, it works pretty well. And you can even get native Electron apps and a lot of really cool things that you'd want. On the other hand, if you're looking for probably, I would say the best, if not one of the best, if not the best, just pure component material design frameworks for Vue, then Vuetify is the way to go. I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I think if you, I get a lot of uh, comments and suggestions on this, and I definitely would like to create two apps, one with Vutify and one with Quasar, and just see how I like the differences and between the two and let you guys know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.